We are just about nine miles from downtown Manhattan as EA Sports brings you to MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the New Orleans Saints taking on the New York Jets. to get this one started and off we go from MetLife Stadium from his end zone here's Rashid Shaheed and ultimately cannot get this out to the 25 yard line as he's dropped at the 23 something else they begin with a run by Miller and they're able to get this one across the 35 that's a start they can live with 15 yards on their first play from scrimmage big article in the paper this morning talking about how they wanted to get chunk plays in the run game well early on there's a good one there is and for guys on defense they've got to remember the old adage you've got to meet force with force and if you don't you get run over, as they did on that last play. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Absolutely no trouble moving the ball on the ground on the first two plays from scrimmage. Absolutely. You know what I really like? Same guy carrying the ball in both plays. And what drives me crazy is when a back has a nice run, he taps his helmet to go out of the game. I would want the ball again and again and again because you've established really nice momentum. And now you're seeing the field really well. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. They'll try to run for it with Miller. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. Dancing to his left. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. With a little how do you do as he gets in there for the sack. Card out of throw. And he gets it complete to A.T. Perry. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. And I don't think Kamara got there. Looks like they stopped him short. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on four. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. Carr completes it. they will be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. On second down, here's Miller. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss. And now it's third down. In search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing his car on third down. 
He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And oh, he's just going to be short here. Barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area. But they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game. But they must like the matchups they're getting. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. No score after one on EA Sports. Now Carr shifting his guys around a bit. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And his throw here's incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. And they'll send the tight end in motion left. Back to the air on second down. It's Carr. There's Chris Olave. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because of the drag route. And he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. And this one is right through. And the Saints are going to take a 3 nothing lead. So a nice opening drive on the road. You get the three points. Part of you wonders if that might hurt them later not getting into the end zone. Well, the good thing is, still first quarter, and they did come out of it with points. In a sense, they could look at it positively and say, hey, we set the pace in this one. I think that's how they'll go about it. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. Oh, the first play of the game going to be intercepted. Lonnie Johnson picks it. And the Saints are in great shape here as they take over at the 46-yard line. Now, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. They start near midfield following the interception as they begin first and 10. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of a drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Another six-yard carry, same as last play. First down. But, partner, if the defense isn't First going to adjust and they keep giving them those five, six, seven-yard runs over and over, they're likely to run it the whole way to the end zone. They'll be more than happy to take the yardage available and save some of their other plays in the playbook for another time. Not liking the look, they'll change the play. Now a first down carry, it's Kamara. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Here's second and five now from the 37. No 
Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Second quarter, two minutes remain. Three-nothing our score. The Jets will bring in a nickel set as they try to stop this third down. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. And this offense has converted twice already here in this first half on fourth down conversions. And here we go again. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Saints first down, and he'll have it by plenty as it turns out to be a big gainer there on fourth down. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense, they can't get the stop here. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So many offense run and put their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. They go back to the ground now with Miller. And a very similar result again. The Jets defense once more stopping in behind the line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. In motion comes the tight end left. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Another good drive, Charles, but it looks like another that might end in a field goal try. They've made some nice plays. They've given themselves opportunities, but as you noted, another field goal attempt coming up. And that's not how they want to end drives. They've got to figure out what's the final touch that they need to push it across the goal line. Yeah, still yet to find the end zone. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. So a net gain of one there. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And with a little under a minute remaining, we'll see if they want to try to put a drive together, possibly even take the lead here with a touchdown. Go to 50. Hey, you block over here. And Wilson in motion left. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. This one finds Wilson downfield. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. He got 29 yards that time. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. And he'll let this go deep for Lazard. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play. But he could not pull it in. Rodgers again here on second and ten. And he'll let this go deep for Lazard. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gain on his sights, but he did not reel it in. Concentration so key on a ball like that. 
It's hard. I know how difficult it is. But that's a ball you've got to come up with. And instead, a big play is going to slip through their fingers, literally and figuratively. Rodgers again now. That is caught. And he's in for the touchdown. How did they get that done? So they tie it on the last play of the second quarter. Now the PAT will give them the lead. Yeah, and how about that extra little jolt that they'll feel when the ball goes through the post? Carry that to the locker room with them and feel like, okay, we've got something good going here now, guys. Zerline good with a PAT. And that will take us to the end of the first half of play. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. And the Jets set to receive this third quarter kickoff, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in the second half. So now the possession will begin at the 35 after the errant kickoff. Well, that's certainly one way to avoid a dangerous kick returner, I suppose, but you are giving up extra yardage, that's for sure. Because if you put it out of the end zone, they start at the 25. So at a minimum, you're giving up 10 yards to the offense. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Cook makes the catch on the out road. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First and ten, here's Rodgers. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Sometimes we wonder about play calls, but this one made perfect sense to me. He's got the only touchdown that they've scored in this game. Tried to get it to him again on another deep ball. Throwing now is Rodgers. And his throw is going to be incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. And again, it's Rodgers. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Alante Taylor. And the Saints are going to take over here up near the 40. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And their defense did its job, forcing the takeaway there to start the half. And now can the offense follow suit? And you'd better believe that one side of the ball feeds off the work of the other. So they'll want to come out, establish some rhythm, and go down and take the lead. This is second and eight. McCarr, he wants to change up the look here. A handoff running left is Miller. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. So after the penalty, here's second and three. Running left is Miller. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. 42 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. They stay on the ground. This time it's Kamara. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Carr. Try. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 16. A good pickup there, 26 yards. 
Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield. A break one off, but a nice game there for a first down. Yeah, he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. He stopped at his tracks by Ahmad Gardner. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Now second and five. They stay on the ground this time. It's Williams. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. They call that a loss of six yards. And it's third down now. Here's Carr to throw. Touchdown! Michael Thomas. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Saints have retaken a third quarter lead. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical? It, 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 it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And running with power here. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. And everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you, an interception's result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. On first down, Rodgers. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Aaron Rodgers hitting Allen Lazard. And the Jets have a chance to tie the ball game here in the final minute of the third. Zerline connects on the extra point, and we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and ten. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Tackle by Ashton Davis up from the secondary. Three quarters in the books. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Here's second and seven. Here's Kamara off the draw. 
Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. That was a good run. Probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? The Saints on third down, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll give it up the middle to Miller. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. I like this focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. down being chased out left and he just gets rid of it throws it away a wise move there looked like nobody open now second down and in the second half of the tie the game every decision gets magnified and here if he forces this ball it could be intercepted so that's the prudent play to just airmail it out of bounds out of the pistol look it's Miller and he'll be tackled at the 45 following a gain of just two it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Here's Carr. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Touchdown, New Orleans. A.T. Perry, 55 yards. And the Saints answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Well, that's a heck of a response to regain the lead after we had seen the touchdown to tie the game. I would say what we just saw there was a great amount of poise because typically when teams tie the game up, it's a little bit of a, how would you say, you kind of kind of take a step back and have to get yourself regrouped. They regrouped in a hurry, didn't they? They attacked back after they'd been tied. And in a big way, that was a statement-long touchdown. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result, and he opted for the touchback. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. In motion left is Wilson. Rodgers now on first down. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Well, I think we were both wondering if we were going to see them try and push it deep downfield, facing a one-possession deficit late, and they certainly didn't disappoint. They gave it an effort. In motion left, Hardman. Rodgers will try again on second down. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Throwing is Rodgers on third down. He's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down at the 26. It's a big play there for the Jets on third down. 49 yards. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and 10. First down, here's the run with Cook. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. Here's second down and three. Seven. Brings up second and three. 
They run it again with Cook. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. Here's first down. They run the counter with Cook. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. Brings up second and goal at the six-yard line. Do you no good at all? Use them now. Third down and goal coming up here. And here come the whistles and a timeout with seven seconds left. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Back to throw, Rodgers. That's caught at the one. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Let's go! Let's make a play here! Let's make a play, boys! Hey, 88! 88! 88! Running for it. Here's Cook. And they are going to stop him on fourth and one as they'll wind up going backwards. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. And they take a knee. So this one, a victory here for New Orleans. And we talked so much.